everyone welcome back to my channel i'm ask amber and today i'm going to be showing you how to add facial and hand gestures when you're making animations on your avatar these can be fully custom you can put whatever facial gestures you want with whatever hand gestures you want and today i'm going to show you how to do it let's get started the first thing you're going to want to do when you're working with custom animations is make a duplicate of your model because if you go to fix the animations on your model and you push play in the animations window, your model will get stuck like that and there's nothing that you can do about it. So in case your model gets stuck, you're going to want to work on a duplicate. Don't worry, you're not actually editing the animations on the model. You're editing the animations in the actual override controller. So the animation itself is what you're editing. You're not editing the model. So even if you delete the second model later, your overrides will stay the same on your original model. Make sure that you go back and watch my previous video about how to add basic animations and where to get downloads that you can edit. You can't actually use the generic animations that come with your avatar override controller, so you're going to have to use your own if you want to edit them, and I show you how to do that in that video. So now with your duplicate selected, click on the animations tab and here is where you're going to edit all of your animations. If you set up all your animations into your override controller, you should see them all in this drop down when you have your avatar selected. So go ahead and select which hand gesture you want to edit first. I'm going to go with open hand first. The way animations and gestures work is using keyframes. So you see these little diamond shapes. When you push the play button, it will cycle back and forth from the first one to the second one over and over again, creating your animation. We're going to make sure that when we create our animation values that we're going to have the first and the second keyframe have the same exact values because that way when you hold down the button in game, your hand stays the way you want it to stay. If you're editing your avatar and you don't see it change in the display window, just hit preview and it'll show you your changes as you go along. So with the first keyframe selected, I'm going to go ahead and make an edit to one of the values of one of the fingers. And when you change this value, it'll change the position of that finger for the first keyframe and show you what it looks like in the window. Once I have it where I want it, I can look around, make sure that it looks good from all angles because sometimes it will look really good from one angle and really bad from another angle. And I'm going to make all of the edits on all of my fingers and I'm going to move on to the face gesture for open hand before I copy all of the keyframes from one to two. Now your avatar should come with what's called blend shapes. So if you've set up your visings correctly in Blender, or if you got your avatar from another creator, these should all already be there. The way to use these is clicking add a new property, click on the body drop down, and click on the skinned mesh renderer drop down, and there should be a whole list of things that you can use. Simply just select the one you want with the little plus button, and then change the value for that piece to however much power you want between 1 and 100. 100 is full power and 0 is nothing. This is really great because you can customize exactly how you want the face of your avatar to look whenever you have a hand gesture going. You can add as many different blend shapes as you want to each gesture. You can make her angry, you can make her happy. It's totally up to you. Once I have all of my settings and values exactly how I want them, I'm going to copy all of the keyframes from the first column and I'm going to delete all of the keyframes from the second column and then click on the second column and push Control V to paste all of those keyframes in there so the first column and the second column are identical. You can test this by hitting the play button in the animation bar. When you do this, nothing should be moving. You should just see the animation and gestures that you just created. Once you've changed all the hand and face animations for all the different gestures, switch back to your project tab and delete your second model and go ahead and go back to your first original model. Make sure that you're saving your work as you go along because Unity has no autosave, so when it crashes, you lose all the work you just did. So just make sure you save. The last thing I'm going to go over is permanent blend shapes. This is if you want a different facial expression on your model permanently, no matter what gestures are playing. You just click on body, then click on the blend shapes drop down in the inspector. And these are all the same blend shapes as you had in your edits. And all you have to do is just change the value here to change it permanently. Then all that's left to do is build and publish and see your avatar with all of its beautiful animations and gestures ready to go in VRChat. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.